today we're gonna drop to we're gonna talk about pillars of health um, we're gonna talk about our physical health I am super excited for talking about health now a little disclaimer we're not uh, physicians we are not um, nutritionists we are not doctors and we're not gonna give you any advice concerning your health we're going to talk about general things that the scripture teaches us and we're going to talk about what the Bible teaches us mm -hmm. concerning health. Both me and my wife, we, um, we focus on our health a lot and um, we try to try maintain, to. Mm -hmm. well try to, yeah, try to um, drink a lot of uh, H2O and um, coffee but less coffee, more water and then also exercise. Both of us, you know, we're not in the perfect health but I do believe that God has given us a great blessing of health. We've seen God's healing virtue, healing power, but we also have done our job as well taking care of our health. Yeah. And so if, before we jump into anything, would you like to share anything as a way of introduction concerning how important health is? Yeah, I, I think one of, the, one of the things, I think taking care of your health is a sign of wisdom. Mm. And Bible, the Word of God is calling out, calling us into wisdom. Mm. And you know, it's very, um, it's very important to mm -hmm. take care of our bodies because not only it's a sign of wisdom, it's, it's also we have to understand that it, we are the temple of the Holy Ooh. Spirit. Not only spiritually, but also our our bodies. We are the carriers of that glory that you know people can see our body they can see our spirit they can see our soul but they can see our bodies mm -hmm. and you don't have to be super fashionable you don't have to look extremely beautiful or any of that thing but one thing is if you're a believer we have to take care of our health that's i think number one thing and all i'm gonna say to that is amen. come on somebody <laughs> amen Drop that in the chat. Come on, somebody. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, some facts about our human body. If you are an adult of average weight, here is what you accomplish in 24 hours. And this is mind-blowing. Yeah. Your heart beats 103,000 times. Your blood travels 168 million miles. You breathe 23,000 times. You inhale 438 cubic feet of air. You eat 3.25 pounds of food. Some of us eat a little bit more. You drink 2.9 quarts of liquids. You lose 7 eighths of waste. You speak 4,800 words including some unnecessary ones. You move 750 muscles. Your nails grow 0 0.00046 inches. Your hair grows by 0 0.01714 inches. You exercise 7 million brain cells. That's in 24 hours. In 24 hours. Wow. That is crazy. That's incredible. That's, that's crazy. I'm going to drop that in the chat right now. That's just that was... crazy insane that's just in 24 hours what your body does i mean imagine that 168 million miles your blood travels wow your heart beats in 24 hours 103,000 times i mean you breathe 23,000 times that that's crazy you move 750 muscles i mean that that's a miracle in itself your body is important why is it important uh, well, number one, our bodies, like I already mentioned, they are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. They belong to God and He created our bodies. Mm -hmm. Then Jesus paid for my body and for your body with His precious blood. So for, not just for, for our, our, not just for not our spirit, for our spirit not for but our also soul. for our body. He yes. purchased our body. Because our bodies will be redeemed. Mm -hmm. They will then be resurrected. Resurrected, yeah. The Holy Spirit lives in our bodies. Mm -hmm. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So not just in our spirit, not, but He yes. also inhabits our bodies. Yes. And, wow. And like you already mentioned, God will resurrect our mortal bodies mm -hmm. when, um, when He returns. So guys, if your body wouldn't be important, God wouldn't heal it. 
If your body wouldn't be important, the Holy Spirit would not indwell in it. If your body wouldn't be important, then the Bible wouldn't say that Jesus purchased us and we belong to Him. If your body wouldn't be important, God would not resurrect it. Yes, God looks at the heart 100%, but today we're talking about our health, okay? What I want to mention first and foremost before we go any, anywhere is that your health is as important as your healing. Divine health, somebody dropped that in the chat, is mm -hmm. as important as divine healing. Yeah. So many times in the church we focus a lot on divine healing and we focus little about the divine health. I wonder how many of us would need less divine healing if we would actually care more about divine health. There is such a thing as divine health. Let's read Exodus chapter 15 and verse 26. He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in His eyes, if you pay attention to His commands and keep all His decrees, mm -hmm. I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, mm -hmm. for I am the Lord who heals you. So God says that if you listen to me carefully and do what's right in my eyes, you pay attention to my commandments mm -hmm. and keep all my decrees. So let's let's break this down. What does God want us? He wants us to listen carefully. Mm -hmm. He wants us to do what's right in His eyes, not just in the eyes of the government or in the eyes of your parents. He wants us to pay attention to His commands. He wants us to keep His degrees and then God makes a promise. He says, I will not bring on you all the plagues that are brought on Egypt. Now this does not mean that if you are sick that means you're disobedient to God. Please do not hear what I'm not saying. What we are saying is this, divine health is connected to following the principles mm -hmm. as divine healing is connected to following the presence. Oh, the on. presence of God brings divine healing. The principles of God bring divine health. Come on That's somebody, so drop good. that in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. The presence of God brings divine healing. The principles of God bring divine health. And we need both. We need the presence of God to bring healing. And God said that. He says, if you obey my word, He says, you, you, pretty much you're going to be healthy. And then He says, but I'm still your healer, meaning there will be still things happening in our life. The pandemic, the, the COVID, the um, you know diseases. And God's like, I'm still going to be your healer. So mm -hmm. not only I'm giving you my principles, I'm also giving you a promise of my presence that in case you pick up something on the way, I'm there to heal you. I'm there to yeah. provide a divine healing when divine health is failing. I, I love that, that you mentioned that. I love the fact that we actually need both mm -hmm. because it's awesome and it's amazing idea of divine healing but how many of us actually possess with that divine healing we live in a broken world mm -hmm. and many of the sicknesses, sicknesses that we experience in our bodies in our you know system they are not necessarily our fault mm -hmm. okay because of the broken world because of all of the things that uh, surround the us bad food that we, we get we experience mm -hmm. those sicknesses and this is where God does not just uh, you know leave us alone and he's like no I will provide divine healing for you as yes. well yes yes come on if you believe in the power of God to heal people today could you drop number one in the chat if you believe Jesus still heals today drop number one in the chat and we're gonna pray for healing yeah. in, in just a moment but I believe that so much is talked about healing and we also need to talk about health. You know, healing is really about health. Healing is not about miracles as much as about restoring the health. And even those people who don't believe that God heals today, but it's I know it's none of you because you're, you're dropping number one in the chat. But those people who don't believe in healing, honestly, you believe in divine health because you're going to the doctor and the doctor, the medicine doesn't really cure you. They just remove the hindrance to your health because your body is designed to fight yeah, every day. Yeah. Your body fights for good health. I mean, think about your immune system. It fights day and night. All these parasites, all these yeah. bugs, it f fights day and night. All these microorganisms that seek to attack the body. And so your body is designed to fight for its health. And so we even drink, you know, vitamins and other things to strengthen our immune system. Pretty much we want to empower all these warriors. I got like thousands and millions of warriors in my body right now fighting for my health. It's called immune system. 
God designed my body to yeah. fight for yeah. its health. Yeah. So for those of you who are maybe watching right now, you're like, man, I don't believe in healing. I believe this whole thing is just healthy, wealthy, prosperity gospel. My friend, really, your body believes in healing by fighting for you every day. Your immune system fights for your well-being. And therefore, I believe God wants to heal people and I believe God wants us to obey His commandments. He wants us to follow some common sense and His principles yeah, yeah. so that we can walk in divine health. And I think, uh, what is divine healing? Sometimes we think it's only the instantaneous one. But honestly, the recovery, if you mm -hmm. have gone through the process of recovery and it took time and you are now healthy, you receive divine healing because that's how God created your body. It's not only instantaneous. Yes. In the moment you got healed and that's it. Mm -hmm. The recovery process is a healing as well. Amen. Amen. Now, before we talk about the five pillars mm -hmm. of our health, divine health, what I want to mention right now is, I believe is the foundation. You know, and, and we mentioned that already, obeying God is huge. Obeying God's voice is huge. But I want to mention right now is the foundation of your physical health is your emotional and your mental well-being. Mm -hmm. Let's read uh, on, 3 somebody. John chapter 2. <laughs> yep. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper, prosper in all things and be in health just as your soul prospers. Wow. So powerful. What does that mean to you? That means, I mean, if your soul is sick, it will deteriorate your body as well physically. It's so connected and we see that from the Word of God. And even doctors, they will tell mm -hmm. you, what is the root cause for most of the sickness? Is stress, mm -hmm. and anxiety, mm -hmm. when we are not at peace, that deteriorates our body. Mm -hmm. We see in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, a cheerful heart is a good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Mm -hmm. Your emotions affect your physical body. Our soul prospers when we are filled with positive thoughts, emotions, words, and expectations. You cannot be in good health if you are emotionally sick, if you are mentally sick, if you are poisoned with offense, if you are filled with bitterness, so if you are overwhelmed with negativity, if worry has taken root or anxiety has taken root, it will affect on your body. Your body will pay the price yes. of your yes. emotional or mental sickness. And so that's why the Word of God wants to bring healing first to your mind and to your heart and His peace wants to flow yeah. so then it will reflect itself in your body. Yeah and I think it's important to understand that if you're fighting for your physical health, please number one fight has to be right here, your mental mm -hmm. and your emotional health because from that state that you, are, you find yourself in, this is from, from that position you can actually fight uh, your physical illnesses. Somebody said about 70% of doctor's visits today are due to um, stress, mm -hmm. anxiety true. and other things and people are going in and a lot of times good doctors will tell you, hey you need to exercise, you need to eat, you need to do the things that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about five things that honestly a lot of psychologists and a lot of counselors will tell you uh, to do that will really improve your physical well-being. I know this is not going to be 40-day fast and 72-hour prayer. This is not going to be, you know, shout seven times and walk around the Jordan River and sow $5,000 this seed offering. This is going to be something every person can do no matter which country you're watching in right now yeah. that can drastically improve your health which will affect your emotions and your emotions can affect your health. So let's dive in. Five pillars of good health. The first pillar is, drum roll, <laughs> Drinking water. Hey, that's so <laughs> deep. Go deeper. That is. <laughs> Please go deeper. So yeah, let me just read a little bit about water. Mm. Um, our body is made 70% out of water. Lungs have 90%, brain 95% of water, skin 80% of water, bones 24% mm. of water, muscles 75% and blood is 85% of water. Can wow. you imagine that? Your whole body is water. Now, we, most of us, we know that. We just don't get to actually doing that. <laughs> now, some benefits of drinking water. When you drink water, you pretty much reverse your fatigue. You improve your mood. It treats headaches and migraines. Helps in digestion and constipation. It aids uh, weight loss, okay? Um, mm -hmm. Flushes out toxins out of your body. 
regulates uh, body temperature, mm-hmm. promotes healthy skin, mm. and this is very important. Ladies, listen to to this. Good skin, like mine. In th- drink water. That that's more important than if you're gonna buy a very expensive cream for your face. Now, still buy that cream, okay? But drink water too. <laughs> uh-huh. Then it prevents joint pains and arthritis. Increases metabolism, mm-hmm. and a common recommendation uh, to is to drink six to eight ounce uh, glasses of water uh, a day. But some adults may need more or a little bit less. Um, on a side note, I want to I want to let you know, guys, that it's good to drink water, but don't over drink your mm-hmm. water. Yes, because I knew one woman. Um, she she was. Like her doctor told her, hey, you need to drink water. And she took that so, so literally. I mean, it's good. But she overdid that. And she started to drink so much water that she started to flush out the nutrients and all the vitamins out of her system. And she started to become sick. So she went back to the doctor and she's like, hey, I'm drinking all this water, like wow. enormous amount of water per day. She carries those gallons and gallons of water. Mm-hmm. And she just and he's like no you have to stop there has to be a certain amount of water that you have to drink but not like extreme amount of water personally honestly i don't like drinking a lot of water because of these frequent bathroom breaks bathroom visit bathroom Mm -hmm. visits Mm -hmm. and and when i don't Mm -hmm. go to the bathroom a lot to me it's an indication i'm not drinking enough of water in the last few days um you know we did the fast few days ago and then um i don't know i just had this awakening of how important it is to start um drinking more water running physically running i'm not talking about spiritual running and then also fasting and we're going to mention that in a second but um and so the last few days i've been making a goal and you know like i think three of these um in the morning uh, throughout my process of reading the scriptures and studying and um, to just kind of really drinking it up and in fact I even decrease it's my first few days where I've drink only one cup, cup of, of coffee, coffee. yeah mm-hmm. and I didn't even want to drink it and so this was very very interesting because mm-hmm. those of you who know I drink I drink coffee and and that's the danger of living on stimulants and living on these extra sources of energy that are not natural to your body mm-hmm. is a lot of times you know you become so numb to it that you, you it doesn't even do anything and it just become like becomes an addiction and so water is you know Jesus is a living water yeah. we see in the Bible that you know water was huge to God I mean God used water uh, to um to heal people even you know the the Naaman was baptized in water uh, seven times and then he was healed of his leprosy we see also even Jesus says that out of our bellies will flow rivers of living not of living coffee not of living juice but of living water and so the Lord wants you to prioritize the intake of water I've read a book my mom gave me a gift one day she gave me this book called water it's this doctor who pretty much treats almost every disease that no is known to men through a lot of drinking of water. Of course, they recommend not to over drink it. And so, and man, I mean, it did some work on my heart for three days. I start drinking a lot of water like a camel, but then I slow down again. And so I really, um, really believe that it's very important guys for a lot of you, you know, it's good to pray for healing. It's good to believe for that, but you got to start drinking a lot of water to the point that you take frequent visits to the restroom. And the thing is your, your bladder uh, adjusts the the more you oh, do really? that yes <laughs> it does the more you do that the you it's going to be adjusted in your body you're not going to be like going to the bathroom like every single like minute or so in the beginning yeah you will but in the future your body will adjust and on a practical note one thing that i have been practicing for many many years you drink now, water yes yes I think it's important to drink water throughout the day. Uh-huh. But one doctor, um, natura, naturopath or whatever, mm-hmm. uh, suggested me that the best thing you can do for your body and the best way to wake up your body is to drink a glass of water, mm. uh, not cold, but w- room temperature, mm-hmm. when right away when you wake up. Mm. That way you can wake up your organism, your body, and it's just... It's just really good for you. Mm-hmm. I've been doing that the last few coffee, days. Before you before you have breakfast, before anything, you drink that water and I put some lemon in it. It's Guys, I, I have a confession to make right now. My confession is this, is that I usually would drink a glass of water, but honestly, um, 
and then I would drink coffee. But still, it's the coffee that would wake me up. In the last few days, I actually have been taking this with me to church because I go to church in the morning prayer. And so I drop a little bit of some of your electrolytes or something that you have some kind of a powder and it's not drugs and uh and so it just adds a little bit of taste and it adds some electrolytes to the water and that then is actually uh, uh, some vitamins oh, oh vitamins okay so and then i drink that on the way to church and then i drink coffee already after my workout and i've noticed that my energy levels are not different in fact i feel well i kind of feel the same but i think it's mm -hmm. uh, it's going to take a while for the body to adjust mm -hmm. to the water intake versus having um and so I think it's very important and my uh, pastor's wife Luba is saying and she's a nurse she says we need to drink water right before breakfast when you wake up before mm -hmm. lunch and dinner mm -hmm. not all day don't drink water all day so yeah. yes the yeah. doctor has spoken those and, are you uh, gallon carriers <laughs> yeah because I mean, it it's does, better than that it does help it does help yeah. I, from what I hear is that it helps you first of all it carves your appetite when you drink does, water yeah. and so instead of drinking all day just before you eat before you eat mm -hmm. breakfast before you eat lunch drink water so that is the first principle and the yeah. pillar mm -hmm. of uh, he divine health i believe yeah. now what is the second what is one the second the, the second, second one is healthy eating come on Ooh, you know we're coming after somebody. your chips <laughs> and uh McDonald's. And, and McDonald's and um, or any kind that of burgers. spicy jack sandwich that I yeah. love so or meat, much. Meat lovers were coming after you. Hang in there. Now we have to understand is that gluttony is a sin. Um, Eve, Esau, Israel, Sodom and Gomorrah ate themselves out of their blessing. Even Jesus was tempted with food. And we know that most unhealthy foods are the ones with high sugar cereals, sugary coffee drinks, canned soup, um, sodas, pros processed lunch, lunch processed, uh, the processed uh, lunch meats, ice cream, and frozen French fries. Mm -hmm. um, the only way to keep your health is to eat what you don't want, <laughs> drink what you don't like, and do what you would rather not. Mark Twain said that and it's kind of true. But uh, honestly eventually you're gonna start liking that healthy food because your taste buds they mm -hmm. readjust and change. Um, somebody, some wise men said, let food be thy medicine and medicine be thy food. The best medicine is your food. What would you like to say? I know that when it comes to healthy eating, um, if we were to have a competition, I would lose <laughs> because you naturally desire and you have appetite for healthy foods and then you don't eat a lot. And then I, on the other hand, I would love to eat whatever and usually that whatever means something unhealthy, sweet. <laughs> something sweet. Yeah, I have a sweet Sugars. tooth, but I have been, yeah. I think yeah. I've been, I've been doing better. Um, it depends on the day. Yeah. Um, but would you like to comment on that? How important it is? How did you get to that point? Because I mean, you're, I mean, you're thin not, and you're lean, yeah. but you also, a lot of people don't realize you're actually healthy. And so you, and you're healthy. And how are you staying like that? Yeah, well, I, I try that. I'm not like extremely healthy. I still have my moments of weakness that I allow myself and other moments of weakness where I just like, okay i'm just craving something <laughs> but i um i guess it helped me when i grew up um where uh, back in russia where we did not have access to any processed foods we didn't have access to any fast foods we never mm. went out we just simply didn't have money for that so everything was made at home mm -hmm. and everything was soups and healthy and that kind of helps you know when you grow up like that it helps you to continue but it will only continue if you have that realization that what you eat is what you become pretty mm, much you become what you, you eat. become what you eat Santo. Yeah. come if on drop that in the chat all kinds of processed foods it will show in your body it will show in your weight it will show in your skin it will show in your uh how you feel in your energy and so everything good. so it's good. just like i just did not want to be that person and i had that moment of realization you know what i'm gonna make myself like things that are good because it's the I, I just believe it for myself that with food when it comes to food I have exact the same understanding where when it comes to uh, living t according to the Word of God mm -hmm. according to Bible standards You're okay? preaching. it's not what I necessarily my flesh always wants to do but I do it because mm -hmm. I I understand that it pleases the Lord and I want to please him and I want to live in a righteous way I want to be pure and holy mm -hmm. before him 
same thing with my with what i eat it's not always what i want to eat it's just like i understand that i need this mm -hmm. because i'm trying to be healthy and i'm mm -hmm. trying to live pure in my body too mm -hmm. so that's this food primarily was given to us for strength not for pleasure yeah. and i think when people use food as a fun thing or you will either you know food should not be your fun it should be first your fuel no reward system for children you what know what does that mean well reward system you know how food is now a reward system like okay mm. if you do this we're gonna go out to the mm. uh, mcdonald's and buy a happy meal like mm -hmm. a lot of parents do that That's or true. buy something sweet it becomes like mm -hmm. a reward f when you do something good mm -hmm. so i think it food cannot be that i mean yeah. food is a fuel it's a, it's it's a, a, it's fuel. a fuel and yeah. you have to think about you know when you go to a car for example if you go on a gas station and your car takes um diesel you know you're not gonna put normal gasoline into it because you're going to destroy your car yes. yeah and so same thing if you want if your car you must understand is that your your house spiritual house your physical body uh, will not be sharp alert um, if you're going to put junk into it and a lot of people the problem is they have they their fridge has become their savior it they channel or process their negative emotions mm -hmm. through eating People in the world might do it through alcohol, through pornography, through drugs, through gambling. But a lot of Christians, they do it through eating. And they think it's not wrong because I'm not hurting anybody and I'm not abusing alcohol. But if you are going to the fridge when you're emotionally not doing good mm -hmm. and you're eating yourself into happiness, you have made food into an idol an and you will pay for it. And how you will pay for it is that is that you will start gaining weight that's unnecessary. And then what's going to begin to happen is that your body will not be able to support that weight. Your knees will start hurting and then you will develop other diseases and then you will develop an addiction, an obsessive and unhealthy relationship to mm -hmm. food. Food is a fuel, not your comfort. You can't eat for comfort. Yeah. You have to go yeah. to the Holy Spirit for comfort. You cannot go to the refrigerator for comfort. Come on somebody, That's drop that so in the good. chat. Do That's not so go good. to the fridge for comfort. Yeah. You have to go into prayer for comfort. You have to go to the Bible for comfort. Donuts cannot be your deliverance. You know, donuts and soda cannot, soda cannot be your savior and donut is not your deliverer. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit is your source. And so the food becomes a fuel Come and on, that's yeah. why I believe it's very important also to go f for a time where we are not eating. I believe it's important to also fast. Fasting is very important for your body. That's I cannot good. overemphasize how important fasting is. Now, of course, I am keeping in mind for those of you that are able to fast. There are some people who can't fast. And so when you make food into your idol, mm -hmm. you will not fast. Mm -hmm. When you make food into your idol, you will go into your refrigerator, to your refrigerator for comfort. But when you begin to fast, something happens with you. You slow down. When you begin to fast, because fasting is, word fasting is fast. Do you want to go fast in life? Come on. Do you want to go fast in life? Then fast. <laughs> fast. Hey. <laughs> That's yeah, a, no, we, that's we should good. end it right Come there. That, that, that's fire right there. Yeah. <laughs> no, if you want to go fast, but if you feel like your life is spinning out of control, yes. if you notice when you're fasting, everything seems to like slow down mm -hmm. in the natural, mm -hmm. but in the realm of the spirit, things are fast going faster. Mm -hmm. People sometimes ask me like, you know, what is your secret? And I tell them, hey, you know what? Mm -hmm. If you want to go faster, fast. But when you fast, something happens, you actually slow, slow down. down. Your mind slows down, your body slows down, your body begins to eat a lot of those toxins and that's why you have a little bit of headache, begins to eat a lot of that excessive weight and um, you know, your mind eventually clears and it's just mm -hmm. your connection to God. So healthy eating, part of our Christian approach to eating is also having a season or having a time during the week where you don't eat. And you do them not by starvation, you do that not because you don't yeah, have food, yeah, but you do that yeah. by choice so that yeah. you can slow down the process and you can give your stomach, I mean think about it, yeah. your stomach gets a break from digesting all the food yeah. and it starts digesting all the fat and then it quiets down and then you can honestly like you don't even feel the hunger pains. Mm -hmm. That's true, yeah. fasting is great. Fasting actually sharpens your mind mm -hmm. and when you are full with of food, 
for example, when um, many times when Vlad needs to preach or there's some important meeting, just our advice, don't eat food prior to that. Mm -hmm. If you want your mind to be sharp, it's okay to feel hunger. It's totally okay. But it's not okay to be full and dull, mm -hmm. especially before you have an important meeting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, when I, when another thing I've realized, and I experienced this since Bill Wees was with us. Mm -hmm. And we went to eat out with them. Mm -hmm. And then we went to this place that I usually get steak. And I, if I would go to like some kind of a nice place, I would always get steak. And you know, steak is extremely heavy on your body. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, like my body would just go into this food coma because, you mm -hmm. know, it's digesting. And so it needs all the energy to digest. So like your brain just kind of like turns off and I would get, and it will be after two services on Sunday. So I would be extremely tired already. And then after eating, I would be like exhausted. So Bill Wees, and I'm going to spill the secret of what he ordered, he, or, he ordered salmon. You know, and I'm like, eh, you know, he ordered fish. And so, you know, and, and he started instructing me about how he has never drank soda in his life. And I was like, you got to be kidding me. He's lived <laughs> in America all his life, never drank one time. He never drank soda. And so, and he's like, I eat only fish. I don't eat meats. And, and I was like, you know, are you, uh, why? And he's like, well, it's easier for your body to digest. Plus Jesus, you know, he's like, he multiplied fish and bread, not steak and bread. And so, um, so he kind of like went that route. So I decided to order exactly what Bill Wees ordered. And to be honest with you, for the first time in a very long time, I afterwards I felt actually energized. I felt like I ate fuel instead of something that makes yeah. me, you know, good temporarily, food feels good. Coma. I didn't even take a nap <laughs> and there was no food coma. I did not go into a coma. I went to another level in God. Come on, somebody. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Okay, pillar number three. Pil pillar number tres. Come on, somebody. And that is active living active living yes it's uh it's it's very important mm -hmm. benefits of acting active living controls weight boosts brain power melts away stress that is so true if you're stressed out go work out gives energy a hundred percent when you give energy you, you receive energy, energy back mm. fights off sicknesses you know i can testify to that because I was, um, there was one point where, where I was working out for two and a half years nonstop, five days a week. And wow. that was the time where I the least gotten sick. And then when I slowed down a little bit mm -hmm. with COVID and all of that stuff, I started to get more sick. Um, okay, where am I at? Uh, fights off sickness, creates a stronger heart. That is true. Some cardio reduces biomarkets of aging, mm -hmm. improves eyesight. And honestly, there is a th probably a thousand of more benefits that are not listed right here mm -hmm. from uh, exercising. At least 10 to 15 or 20 minutes a day will make a difference in your life. Things like walk in the park, jump rope, um, honestly, pr play water volleyball bike to work, you know, jump on the trampoline, go for a hike. If you're married, have sex. Uh, it doesn't replace exercise, but it does help with an exercise. Actually, uh, <laughs> European study found that men who had sex more than once a month uh, were twice as likely to die in a 10 year follow up period as those who had sex at least twice a week. And so that means that there's a benefit to it's a it's good healthy. exercise. It's a good exercise. Yeah. But but the idea is that now, some of you may say, but the scripture says, uh, you know, that physical exercise is not as beneficial. A hundred percent in comparison to, to spiritual, spiritual godliness, our physical yeah. exercise is honestly pointless. But you must understand when Paul spoke those words, um, the number one reason why people were dying was not obesity during that time. Mm -hmm. People died out of starvation during that time. People uh, had a huge problems with not having enough of food. Secondly, people did not drive anywhere. They walked they everywhere. Um, food industry was not a money industry like we have it. It was actual uh, food. Yeah, so they were actually, you know, most people mm -hmm. grew their food and they bought food that was actually organic. Real Today food. our food is has so much yeah. junk in it. It's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. I mean, everybody's trying to make a buck out of mm -hmm. the food instead mm -hmm. of helping us to have good fuel. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. that day is very different than the day today. Today we need to exercise. 
Christians need to exercise and it doesn't mean that you need to go to the gym. It just means every once in a while you need to go for a run. You need to go for a hike. You need to live an active life, especially those of you who live in the office, especially yeah. those of you oh, who yeah. always sit and your Buddha belly is beginning to increase already and you begin to not even see your toes and next <laughs> thing that happens is you don't have any energy and you just feel like, man, I just want to sit and just after work and bench yeah. watch and just like, and man. And then you don't feel good about your appearance and, yeah, then, and then you don't then, feel good about yourself and yeah, it's just and then a cycle. You, yeah, you have no energy. Mm -hmm. uh, if you are a leader, you must understand your greatest gift as a leader to your team is your energy. If you don't have energy, you, you don't have a gift to give to your team. Your education is important, your knowledge is important, but you have to have energy. And so a lot of times what begins to happen is that people are trapped in this exhaustion and their tired and tiredness and all they got to do is begin to prioritize their relationship with God. Yeah. All they got to yeah, do is absolutely. begin to prioritize their time when they exercise. So, I, I, I think it's also important to not to drag yourself to do exercises that you can't stand or you just hate. That's true. I think it's important to just pick and choose something that you semi enjoy or enjoy and then do that. Maybe it's biking or it's just walking for a, a for a, an extended, uh, you know, uh, time or whatever that could be or lifting weights or, or running mm -hmm. or whatever floats your boat. Just pick something and uh, stick to that and make it as a consistent thing that you do throughout the week. Yeah, so I, I try to go after prayer to uh, for a short run, one mile usually, not very long, and then uh, do a few push-ups and a few pull-ups, few of, how do you call those? Um, when you are... Uh, <laughs> um, and so a few of those and then a few things on my yeah. stomach because the stomach is one of those abs. things that yeah, yeah <laughs> abs because next thing that happens is that you know all that food and all that stress can go into your stomach the and king honestly, of glory is growing yeah the king of glory <laughs> is growing and so but uh, one thing I've noticed is that yeah dips um, one thing I've noticed that how much clarity how much stress reliever it also helps when you run when you exercise um, and you know you feel better and then you you look better you feel better you keep a normal healthy weight healthy weight and then this is what you need to keep in mind one discipline always births another discipline if you start disciplining yourself yeah. in the area yeah. of prayer and in the area of exercise you will see it will be easier for you to exercise yourself yeah. in the area of eating if you have a problem with eating all you got to do is you got to do one thing you start doing one exercise uh, or one discipline at least to another discipline mm -hmm. at least to another discipline same thing with with complacency the moment you let you start doing one discipline one complacent thing mm -hmm. like for example you start eating unhealthy food it could lead to another thing which is yeah. you don't yeah. want to exercise then you want to just numb yourself and indulge in entertainment instead of watching healthy things like live stream that we're doing with Lana or reading a book or taking an e-course and so discipline has a domino effect one always leads to another and so if you start praying early in the morning wake up a little bit earlier then you will be more motivated to drink your water more motivated to go on the exercise and more motivated to um, eat right and as well as um, you know take care of your body now some of you you're watching me you're young and then inside of your head you're like honestly my metabolism is really good mm -hmm. I can eat whatever I want yes you can right now but you must understand <laughs> We're not talking about today staying lean. Yes. We're talking about staying healthy. Mm -hmm. And just because you're eating whatever you want and it's not reflected right now in your weight, in your mm -hmm. weight it does not mean that it's wise. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's good. Because it might be affecting your inner organs that you can't see. For example, heart. Yes. Or yeah, so just other, because yeah. you're, it's not mm -hmm. affecting your weight, it does not mm -hmm. mean it's it wise. Yes. Mm -hmm. And plus, one day, your metabolism can change mm -hmm. and your habits of mm -hmm. eating unhealthy, yeah. if they will continue, you will pay a very heavy price. Mm -hmm. Come on somebody. Number four. Sleep. Restorative sleep. Mm -hmm. Pillar number four. And I'm going to read from Psalms 127.2. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. The best sleep is between 10 p.m. and 2 a.m. because the highest levels of melatonin are circulating 
in your brain. If you are not sleeping enough, something is going to happen. You are 27% higher risk of obesity, 48% higher risk of heart disease. You're five times higher risk. You have high, five times higher risk of diabetes. Mm -hmm. You're 20 percent of acts. 20 percent of accidents on the road happen oh. due to sleep. Oh, no. It's about 100,000 yeah. a year. 1,500 deaths happen because of lack of sleep. 71,000 injuries happen due to lack of sleep. 32 percent reduced alertness within 1.5 hours less of sleep is like drunken, driving drunk. So less than five hours of sleep is as bad as 5% of alcohol in your blood. Wow. Let me say that again. Less than five hours of sleep is as bad as having 5% of alcohol in your blood. Oh, it blurs you, yeah. 32% alertness mm -hmm. drops the moment you have less than 1.5 hours of sleep. No, less than five hours. No, 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 no 1.5. And so, and then drunk driving is five hours. Uh, uh, the five hours is with 5% connected. Okay. And so the, the point being is this, is that we are honestly, a lot of us are extremely sleep deprived. <laughs> and I think this is the area I can improve in. And I've been really trying my best to also get more Mm -hmm. more rest and to let my body wake up. I do know as you get older, you don't need as much sleep, but still sleep is like charging your phone. Mm -hmm. It recharges, mm -hmm. something happens. Yeah. In fact, you know, after I think they said 72 hours, if you go for 72 hours without sleeping, that you can go like insane. Mm -hmm. It's it's crazy it? what crazy. happens to you yeah. when you don't mm -hmm. sleep. And so one of the best things you can do on your worst day is to take a nap. <laughs> Jesus slept That's in the storm. So good. Some of the yeah. best things you can do on your worst day is to take a nap. Yeah. When Elijah was going through his depressing moment, you know, God, the angel of the Lord really helped him to do two things, sleep and have a good meal. And so sometimes it might not be super spiritual, but sometimes you can, when you take a sleep, you take a rest, you wake up, you're rejuvenated, you have your energy again. And so mm -hmm. sometimes the, the best thing you can do on your worst yeah. day is to take a nap. And I also think I would like to end mm -hmm. at that uh, it's important to sleep at night. Mm. Not We're not talking about just sleep in general. There are particular hours that your body organs, you know, uh, they rejuvenate and they, you know, uh, they, they rest yes. to function properly. Now, night was created for rest, day for work. Even when you take a look at people who work grave shifts, they they're not very healthy most of them gain weight most of them have some kind of uh, issues in, in their health and now i i talked to some doctors i'm not just coming up with that stuff uh, someone told me that works in the hospital the people that work grave shifts graveyard shifts they are not as healthy as those that actually get sleep at night and so and i think the most like you already mentioned but the most important sleep you can give to your organs is from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you go to sleep after 12, your body is not getting what your body organs need. The REM need. sleep. Mm -hmm. Especially like your brain and some other organs. They, somebody, uh, I've heard um, one study that was done is that each hour before 12 o'clock, it, it's equal to two hours after 12 o'clock. And so it's very, very important. It's, so it's crucial. Yeah, yeah, one of the things that we try to do is, mm -hmm. um, you know, we try to s uh, go to sleep uh, around 9.30, yeah. 10 o'clock, the, the latest. You know, I mean, it's not every day, but the latest. And so um, for those of you, and sometimes we take time, you know, we pray all night and so, but it's not every day and uh, it's not every week. We're talking about lifestyle. Yeah, mostly. we're talking about lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah, there are exceptions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Number five, we're almost done. Are you guys receiving, is, is this helpful? I know that we're having a very chill conversation with you today, but hey, is, th is this helping um, anybody? And uh, if this helping anybody, drop number one in the chat. Um, those of you watching or re-watching on YouTube, and I know a lot of you re-watch on YouTube. So hey, hit, uh, hit thumbs up 
for um, for the video. It will help us with uh, with that. Now I understand some of you are saying, "Hey, this person sleeps three hours, four hours a day." Um, yeah, I know some people sleep like very few hours, and so again, a lot of this stuff yeah. might not apply to every single person. We're just talking about some people have insomnia too, and yeah, they yeah. simply cannot sleep. But that does not make it healthy. Yeah, it does not mean that every person needs to embrace that. The same thing as you know, we don't encourage yeah. every person to yeah. go and fast for forty days yeah. and stuff, but we do encourage every person to fast in it's some way. In general. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, number, okay, five. number five. Go. Come on, somebody. Uh, positive attitude. And we mentioned that about emotional, your emotional state pr really affects your, um, your physical body. Um, go ahead. Would you read that for us? Absolutely. Stress left unchecked can contribute to many health, uh, health problems such as high blood pressure, uh, heart disease, obesity, and diabetes. Pastor Rod Parsley just joined. Hello, Pastor Rod Parsley. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, laughter relaxes your body, leaving your muscles relaxed up to 45 minutes, releases endorphins, protects the heart, boosts immunity, lowers stress. stress. Something happens when your emotions are taken care of. Is that it really, guys, I cannot emphasize enough how important it is for your health that you are emotionally sound, that you have a positive attitude. Now, you cannot control what happens around you. Yeah. You are responsible for how you respond. You cannot control what people say, do, the economy. You cannot control what happens in the culture. You are responsible for your attitude. Your attitude is your own choice. Yes. You can choose your attitude every single day. You can wake up saying things are bad, nothing ever good happens to me. But if you wake up every single day with a positive attitude, looking for God to move on your behalf, looking for God to do great things today, looking that in spite of what happens? God is on the throne. Good things will happen. God is faithful. Not comparing yourself to other people. That's not huge. trying to be like somebody else. Being content. Not necessarily that you don't want to improve and grow, but being content that you're, you're looking at the good things God is doing. Not always at the negative things. Something happens. This positive attitude does something incredible to you. Like it changes your mood. And you know what this mood does? Mm -hmm. It improves your health. Come on. Yeah, that is so true. That is so true. Keeping your body in shape is a spiritual discipline. It's not about losing a few pounds, wanting to live longer, or trying to look nicer. Do you know that 20% of the, of the population in every state in America is obese? 50 million people worldwide will die this year from a chronic disease such as being overweight. Your physical health is as important part. Your physical health is an important part of making your life count. count. That's so huge. Mm. I'm going to say that again. Your physical health is an important part of making your life count. count. And again, I would like to repeat what I said in the beginning, that when you take care of your health, it's a sign of wisdom. It's a sign that you are a wise person. And if you neglect that, you have to take an inventory. And that is a sign of foolishness. Because you're thinking, oh, nothing's gonna happen to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna be always healthy. I'm gonna be always this and that. But that's not the case. Mm -mm. So let's be wise, you guys. Let's take a moment. I want to pray for people today who are sick. I know we talked about health, but maybe you're facing some kind of a health crisis right now. Could we agree with you for your healing? Um, so many people die prematurely. So many people die before their time yeah. and the Lord really loves us. He loves our spirits. He loves our souls. He loves our bodies. So I want to ask you right now, if you are watching and you are facing a physical illness, maybe you're home right now and you are also fighting COVID or you're fighting flu or you're fighting some kind of a disease, could you drop that in the chat of what you want us to agree for, for your healing? Mm -hmm. Just drop that in the chat. Say, hey, I I'm believing for healing for um, and just kind of uh, begin to uh, drop that in the chat. Let us know what we can pray for you. And then me and Lana, we are going to agree together. And I believe that this anointing is going to uh, merge together. And we're going to pray that God will do miracles. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Jesus. 
So just we're waiting for just a few more seconds. Um, go ahead and drop that in the chat of what you are believing for the Lord to heal you from today in Praise Jesus' name. God. Go ahead. If you can just kind of be praying, be praying right yeah. now for YouTube. Yeah. And then I I'm going to be um, uh, I'm going to be praying mainly right now for what's happening on Facebook and on Instagram. So go ahead. Let's begin. Father, we welcome your presence. Yes, Come Holy Spirit and do what only you can do in Jesus' mighty yes. name. Lord, we just ask you right now that you will begin to touch people's mm. bodies, those that are dropping their sicknesses and things that they struggle with into the chat, Lord. You see every single person yes. and I ask you, precious Holy Spirit, that you would touch them with your anointing, that you would touch their bodies, their parts that are hurting God, that you would restore them with your power and with mm. your anointing. I speak that healing in, in their body right now in Jesus' mighty name. That lack of sleep, that inability yes, of sleep. Lord, I pray that yes, you will Lord. restore that to that yes, person Lord. today yes, in Lord. Jesus' name. The spirit of obesity, I commend yes. you to loose those yes. people in Jesus' yes. name. Leave their bodies right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray that every spirit of addiction will mm. be gone out of their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I speak against that epilepsy that person is yes, struggling. Lord. Yes, Lord. I ask you, Holy Spirit, that you will she deliver that person, that you will set them free and heal them from that disease in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, I speak healing for stomach. Every problem with intestines and colon issues be healed in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus, we speak God's healing virtue for those people that are battling with addictions and cigarettes. Be delivered right now in Jesus' mighty name. Precious Holy Spirit, we ask you that you bring deliverance from insomnia in Jesus' name. I speak healing for thyroid, thyroid problems in Jesus' mighty name. Gastritis, be healed right now. Tendonitis, be healed in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every sleep disorder be gone right now. I speak healing to every yes. gastric problem right now in Jesus' name. I speak Jesus bleeding name. in the mouth and lung problems to stop right now in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak healing for the throat and that cough in the name of Jesus. Be free right now. I declare healing right now for COVID in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Come on church, would you agree with me right now? Take just a minute and just begin to drop that in the chat that I'm praying for them. Just begin to mention those people's names names right now that you are seeing and just begin to right now release your prayer for them as well in Jesus mighty name. I, I rebuke every COVID. I rebuke that flu in Jesus mighty name. I rebuke that disease in the name of Jesus. Every anxiety and depression, intrusive thoughts go in Jesus mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I speak healing to every migraine and every yes, chest Lord. pain in Jesus mighty name. I rebuke sleep apnea. Be gone in Jesus mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every addiction right now, every addiction and unhealthy relationship to food, I break that right now in Jesus' mighty name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. We speak healing right now for every mental illness in Jesus' mighty name. Lower back pain, be healed. Lower back pain, be healed right now. Be restored in your, in your, in your lower back. In the name of Jesus, every kind of a person that's facing your hair falling yes. off all the time, I speak healing to your hair. I speak healing to the roots in the name of Jesus. And I declare that your hair will multiply and will stop falling off in the name of Jesus. I speak healing to women problems right now. Every barrenness in Jesus' name be restored right now to your original position in Jesus mighty name in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes Lord I just pray right now against bulimia and every eating disorder in Jesus name. I speak your freedom into that person's yes, life right yes, now. Yes. Receive your freedom in Jesus name. Let that demon of eating disorder and sickness of bulimia be gone in Jesus name. I speak that fire of God to go into your body in in Jesus' mighty name, be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus.
Those of you who can't walk without pain, I speak life to your joints right now. I speak life to those bones in the name of Jesus. I speak life to those muscles. I speak life to the spasm right now. I speak life right now to lungs. I speak life right now to kidneys. I speak life to your blood. I speak life to your nerves, nervous system. I speak life to your nerves. I speak life to your lower back right now. I speak life to the spasm in your shoulders in the name of Jesus. I speak life Light to your life to your sight in Jesus name I speak life to your deaf ears to open in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name I declare healing for eczema I declare healing for acne I declare healing for every fungus to be removed from your body every rashes every uh, rough uh, or red spots in your body disappear in the name of Jesus in Jesus name we come against every tumor we come against every growth we come against every cancerous cell disappear right now be gone in the name of Jesus Christ be free from cancer in Jesus name every cyst be gone right now in Jesus mighty name I speak healing to every ulcer right now stomach ulcers be restored let your stomach and your digestive uh, digestive uh, system be restored to its original position in the name of Jesus Christ Lord I just pray for that person who has a kidney Disease, yes. Lord. I mm. speak your healing to come into their Fire. body in Jesus' mighty name. Lavada, Be yes. healed from that disease. Kidneys, I speak health into you right now in Jesus' mighty Kita name. Every brain tumor Kita and every cancerous cell in your body, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I speak God's mm. divine health and healing to come into your body in Jesus' mighty name. I speak healing right now. I, I break every grip of arthritis you demon of arthritis chronic spirit of infirmity go in jesus mighty name i speak healing to asthma every breathing shortness of breath breathing problems be healed in jesus mighty name in the mighty name of jesus rashes eczema itchiness be healed in jesus mighty name complete restoration right now i speak healing for yes. people who have a generational curse of obesity i break that in the name of jesus yes. no matter how much you try you never could lose weight i break that curse of obesity in the name of jesus may you receive grace and strength to maintain healthy weight for the glory of god yes. in jesus mighty in name jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody, drop that in the chat. I receive. Come on, let's just do it by faith. Say, I receive. Just drop that in the chat. Say, I receive in Jesus' mighty name. Nothing is impossible to God. I truly believe that even though we talked about physical health, but miracles are happening. Miracles are as easy as breathing when we believe. In an atmosphere of faith, miracles are possible just receive that right now the simple as say i receive if you have a baby or if you have a child that is sick bring them to the live stream right now and just place your hand on them and just speak god's word right now i agree with you i agree with every mom and every dad watching and re-watching yes. this be healed let your children be healed i rebuke cold symptoms i rebuke the flu in the name of jesus i rebuke the insomnia i rebuke the intrusive thoughts in the name of jesus let your children be healed right now in Jesus name. Amen. 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 amen, amen. To God be the glory. Come on. We're going to expect miracles. Let's expect the miracles. Healing. If you notice, if you're watching or re-watching and something is happening or something has happened, we're going to ask you to do something right now. We're going to ask you to go to hungrygen.com slash testimony. Just share your testimony. Even if you are re-watching or maybe this is going to happen, you know, tonight. Uh, but if you notice something is happening right yeah. now, hey, yeah. drop us a chat. We, we read all of those testimonies. Yeah. That's like one thing that, you know, we might not be able to read everything, but testimonies, we are junkies on testimonies. We, we love Come testimonies. On. We love to read them. We want to hear from you about that. So just, just share it for the glory of God. Amen. To God be the glory. Um, guys, we really enjoyed We're going to uh, drop right now. We're going to answer some questions, hang out with you for a few minutes. But before we do that, we want to ask you to take a moment right now. If the Lord puts on your heart, we want to ask you to sow where you want to grow. We want you to participate in this ministry by sowing into this ministry. There's few ways that you can do that. You can do that through the um, 
through the cash app you can do that through and I'm gonna drop the link right now today me and my wife by ourselves here and so um, there's a link that we are dropping right mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. and so you see you're seeing as we're as you're watching us on the live stream that um, let me uh, connect it here um, for those of you that are on Instagram I'm gonna drop that in a second but would you would you read some ways that people can give yeah, yeah, absolutely. You can give through uh, Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Zelle, you name it. <laughs> We're there. But guys, honestly, what it all of that, we appreciate every single donation and it goes for the ministry. But, you know, when you become a partner, a monthly partner, that means a lot to us. That is yeah. like, on, you know, another level. The partners are the ones who actually, you know, propel the ministry to go forward, creating more content. You know, we hired some people. It's just like the, those are the partners that we really, really appreciate. But we appreciate every single person Thank who you. gives. But if you feel in your heart becoming a monthly partner, that would mean the world to us if you can do that today. Yeah. So um, the cash app and all of that stuff. So, so where you want to grow. Come on, uh, yeah. I believe that if you want to continue to grow in the things of the Spirit, the things of the Lord, then you have to be the one yeah, that will yeah. sow into that area. And so... Um, and I mean, if you have been blessed by mm -hmm. our ministry, uh, don't hesitate, you know, sow, sow your finances because, I mean, you know, we can pay for a lot of stupid things out there. Yeah. But the things that matter the most mm -hmm. for eternity, this is what we have to support as Christians. Number yeah. one supporters. You can do it through Cash yeah. App. It's Vlad, um, it's Vlad uh, Savchuk. On Vidmo, it's Vlad Hungry Gen or pastorvlad.org forward slash partner or forward slash give. And so thank you so much for Hannah Nisi for giving on YouTube. John D, uh, Dio, thank you for giving on YouTube as well. And we're going to read some donations and then also answer some questions. And so... Um, yeah, if you have some questions, you guys can drop them in the chat. We're going to try to answer them. Mm -hmm. Any question or um, according to the live stream? Well, it could be any questions. Could be um, any questions. Okay, so this is the questions that I'm uh -huh. going to... You can read them off and then I'm going to... It's kind of if the nations come in. I'm Can going I answer to the first question? Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> I actually had exact the same issue. If I'm skinny and need to gain weight, do I still fast? You know, I actually, <laughs> I struggle with the same thing. Uh, it took me so long to gain at least 10 pounds, like a year. And I tried so hard. And, you know, it kind of like made me afraid to fast, which mm. is not good. I would still suggest you to fast because mm -hmm. spiritual is more important than your weight. And I think even if you fast and seek the Lord, God will help your body to gain weight. Mm -hmm. I think fasting is like you just you seek God's face and you trust him and he's going to help you to. Elizabeth, thank you so much mm -hmm. for your donation on YouTube and Braden Benton. I think you already became even the member on YouTube. Thank you so much for that. Mm -hmm. Liam Thompson, thank you also for your donation. Really appreciate Jack, uh, Jacqueline. Uh, we appreciate your donation as well. And um, as we are, thank you everyone who is giving on Venmo or Cash App. We really appreciate um, you guys uh, participating, sowing where you want to grow spiritually. And so um, this really means a lot. Let's answer another question. When is Alexandra Pergani coming to Hungry Jam? <laughs> so I think that it's happening in November. I'm going to tell What's you right now. Date? I'm going to tell you right now. It's going to be November 21st. I think he's the last demon slayer that has not been to our church, right? <laughs> uh, yes, yeah. yes, yes. He's we're there. excited. So ev everybody has been there Pergani. and stuff. So we're excited yeah. for Alexander to come. Yes. Mm-hmm. Next question. Where is your accent from? Vlad's is Ukrainian. <laughs> mine is Russian. No, mine comes straight from heaven. Straight from heaven. <laughs> Come on, somebody. In heaven, they will speak my accent. It's it's you guys who will need to learn that. How stuff, to so. replenish your faith. Uh -huh. Faith comes by hearing and hearing from the word of God. Mm -hmm. Just, um, yeah. That's solid, the answer. Solid. Is there a difference... Uh, Oh no, is it different to be Hungry Gen partner and Pastor Vlad's partner? 
Yes, yes. So uh, yeah, Hungry Gen, yeah, Hungry Gen is different than Vladimir Subject Ministries. We still do exactly similar work, um, but this one focuses on books, courses. We have few people on the staff now um, that uh, do that, and um, and so and it helps us really. We also have. Like if you notice the kind of content we release, we release a lot of it. And so um, I'm not able to do that and do a full-time job at the church if, um, if I wouldn't have people who can kind of clean it, update it. We just recorded Pastor Mike Signorelli's uh, e-course. And so I also wanted to bless him as well as um, we're going to have a company that will kind of clean it up and make it look good. And so, so we have a few people on the staff and as well as we're, we're wanting to do a lot of e-courses. So, so that's really kind of what that is. With Hungry Gen, it helps to uh, move the mission and we're partners with Hungry Gen. So, the, you know, we, we love Hungry Gen. Hungry Gen is my church. Hungry Gen is my, is my babies. Um, but Vladimir Subject Ministry is separate. Uh, Marissa Trin, thank you so much for your donation. Um, and then we see a new member became, uh, uh, where is my new member? Is that the green? Uh -huh. Welcome to Demon Slayer. See uh, Sanju. Uh, Colleen, thank you so much. You guys, those of you who watch on YouTube, you can actually become a member if you would like. It's just like a little mm -hmm. support that shows us a support. So we really appreciate that. Let's answer some more questions. Mm -hmm. Bye -bye. I, ha I have been <laughs> diagnosed with bipolar disorder. I was delivered on Tuesday. Oh, wow. Should I continue to take medicine, medication? What, what would you say? I say that um, if you if you know that like God, the Holy Spirit told you to stop it and you are free, then you do that. You follow your faith and conviction. But but most of the times we don't suggest you mm -hmm. unless your doctor does. Yeah. So. I think if the doctor puts you on meds, you have to yeah. go to him to take you off of it. I would discourage you yeah. from going cold turkey. Um, on it unless yeah. you really have a straight revelation from God yeah. but you still if you really have a revelation from God then why not doctor confirm it exactly yeah, yeah. Um, Annabelle thank you for your donation on Cash App Miroslav thank you for your donation on Cash App uh, Haulishla Evans thank you for your donation on Cash App and as well as um, uh, thank you so much um, Michelle Garcia or Michael Garcia um, I think it's uh, Michelle or see on uh, uh, Venmo. Really, really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Let's read some more questions. Yeah. When are you coming to Michigan? No, no plans yet. Not yet. No plans yet. Oh, yeah. just like, uh -huh. okay. uh, I've heard sinus infection can come from spirit of rejection. Is that true? Could be, but could not could in every be. case. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you think it is wrong to join the YMCA if they have yoga there? Wouldn't your monthly fee be going to them teaching yoga also? What's uh, uh, YMCA? Uh, YMCA. Um, yeah. So it's uh, okay. Let me. Even yeah. if you don't take yoga classes. So I think that um, you know follow your convictions, but yeah, we're I'm not for yoga. Those of you who know, I'm against yeah. yoga, and so I wouldn't mm -hmm. support anything that supports yoga. So that that's my my conviction. Okay, um, how to biblically gain weight? Wow. Biblically? <laughs> wow. I think you just need to eat more of protein and yeah. <laughs> if you want to gain weight, just eat a little bit more, but not junk food. Don't pig out on junk food. Just eat more of a healthier food. Exercise. And exercise, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do we invite you to preach in my church? So um, next year, I'm not going to be traveling a lot. I'm going to be traveling very little. Even this year, I honestly declined 99% of my invitations. Um, and so I'm very, very uh, picky, number one. But secondly, I'm really busy at home. And I want to provide streams and content. And I write every day. And um, so I stay home. And so, but you can go to pastorvlad.org or go to hungrygen.com forward slash invite. Uh, pastorvlad, uh, no, hungrygen.com forward slash invite. Yeah. And that's how you can invite uh, me. Or if I can't go, we'll send one of our ministers uh, to your church. But you can still try. I'm going to pray and consider it. But 99% chance it's going to be no because I, uh, I, I can't do these streams and I can't do um content that i produce 
if I travel all the yeah. time. And so some mm -hmm. commitments I made prior to this, mm -hmm. and so I'm gonna honor them. But um, I gotta I gotta stay faithful. But you can always visit us at Hungry Gen. That would be better. So you have content for teens. Yes, I really think that honestly, mm -hmm. my book yeah. on single ready to mingle Perfect. is a really yeah. good content. The reason why is because half of this book deals with like identity. So like for example, it deals with identity. It deals with um, a fish love, identity, <laughs> no uh, born identity, uh, no money, no honey about work, dating monkeys, how to find your shoes, sexual sleep. The sexual sleep one is a must for teenagers. So I would yeah, encourage you just yeah. just get it, get it for them. Or you can download it for free on my website. Yeah, um, yeah. Now, how do you pray as a family? <laughs> we don't we don't really pray together much sometimes rarely we do but we kind of have our own prayer prayer life we pray for each other we support each other we're on one page on the same page but we don't have that time where we vlad and i just mm -hmm. hold hands and pray together just not us unless unless we unless uh, unless we have a situation or something to, yeah. mm -hmm. sometimes we ask each other hey can you pray for me or something yeah Mm -hmm. what pastors do you like to listen to um i like to listen to my own pastor pastor vasily um but um the one that i listen to um right now so i listen to a lot of stuff on leadership a lot of stuff so honestly predominantly i the podcast that feed me right now mm -hmm. or strengthen me is really leadership podcast. I don't listen to a lot of sermons. I, I study the scriptures, but um, I feel like I need to grow in my leadership. And so that's been my, um, uh, my, my, my main focus. Anybody that you like to listen to. I like to listen to you. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Right now, I guess the Demon Slayers. <laughs> the Demon Slayers. The huh? Demon Slayers, yeah. Wow. That is, that okay, is okay. Demon okay. Slayers. Do you have any near a uh, church near Tacoma? Where is your church located? We do not have a church near Tacoma, mm -hmm. but we are located in Pasco, Washington, which mm -hmm. is Tri Cities, and I believe it's three and a half hours from Tacoma. So, okay. how do you break from oversleeping? Ooh, that's from a, a uh, sometimes yeah, sometimes that could be a spirit. Um, other times, many people who Laziness. are depressed or have nothing to do, uh, depressed people sleep a lot. They need healing from that and deliverance. Or um, laziness, nothing to do. There has to be some uh, discipline mm -hmm. made. Um, D. Phillips, thank you so much for your donation and Venmo. Really appreciate um, your, your generous, generous donation. If you guys are able to speak a little Spanish, can you speak a little French too? No, French is French is above our pay grade. <laughs> Come on, ça va? Uh, yes, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, 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 I don't, don't know, know if I said that. that right. I don't know. Bonjour. <laughs> I don't know. When is Pastor Benihan coming to Hungry Gen? Maybe soon. Maybe soon um, or maybe not. So we'll see. Maybe what soon. are your thoughts on protein? supplements i think they are good amazing take them when will you come to texas very soon god willing uh, my friend david diga is moving to texas so Ooh, i might uh, yeah. go visit david diga but i don't have any plans yet i don't we don't have any plans yet um uh, thank you so much daniel ashi uh, ashirid for becoming a partner uh man we really appreciate that a first partner way to go thank you for being willing vessels for god's glory mention that in the comment we really appreciate it thank, thank you. you so much yes. that's that's very kind of you supporting adding the yeah. fuel to the mission um is balat is ballet, ba ba ballet, uh, ballet not biblical i wanted to do it in the place of yoga <coughs> i think ballet is fine it's it's a, it's class like a russian, classic russian thing too <laughs> yeah it's a classic dance uh -huh. i don't i don't see anything sinful in that go do ballet <laughs> Uh, Brenham Soto, thank you for your donation on YouTube through the chat. Um, how can I teach my son to witness to others about Christianity in high school? I mean, I think by providing an example, let him see you do that to strangers. Yes. And he will do the same thing. Yes, yes. As well as, um, and also give him some practical tools yeah. on how to share his testimony and the message of the gospel. Okay. Um, 
do you think that Adam had a muscular and ripped when God created him? <laughs> of course. Six pack. No, I don't think he was muscular or ripped. Um, but I'm sure he was fit. <laughs> what's a good teaching on YouTube for teens and preteens? Um, there's a lot of different teachings. I have one called sexual sleep. I have a lot on purity. And I also have on relationships with God. They're very good. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite food? Mine? Mm -hmm. I like fish and I like sushi. What about you? Um, I like Fujiyama. Yeah. <gasps> Man, I oh want to go gosh, to Fujiyama right go? now. <laughs> <laughs> let's go after this, for real. It's kind of late now. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go finish. You're uh, leaving tomorrow, uh -huh, so we're going yeah. to Fujiyama. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, uh, we want to meet you at Fujiyama in just about 30 minutes, okay? Uh, <laughs> we're going to order the tea. Everybody who shows up, we're paying for you. Except everybody who's in this room right now oh, who's going to actually yeah. come. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so how do I fight intrusive thoughts coming from the enemy? With the Word of God the same way Jesus did. When are you moving to Kenwick location? So we actually are in Kenwick location right now. Mm. No, no, no. They mean Kenwick location of the church that we're bought. Oh, good idea. Thank you for mm -hmm. catching that. Honestly, probably in a year and a half, it's going to take a while. Uh, it's going to take a while to... Um, we finally got an architect, um, uh, an engineer. And so really excited for that. And so that's going to be moving faster now. We got an engineer. We've had an engineer, but they couldn't do uh, do our plan. And so um, uh, Mita uh, Nielsen, thank you so much for your donation. We really appreciate that. And um, that's really uh, generous of you through YouTube um, community. And so, um, let's see, oh, go ahead. After deliverance, I'm still being attacked more worse than before. I'm doing something wrong. Um, sometimes it means that deliverance is working <coughs> and sometimes it just means that, you know, when Israel was in Egypt, uh, Moses started to provoke Pharaoh, actually things got worse mm -hmm. before they got better. And so I do believe that sometimes it happens like that. Yeah, yeah. But keep being strong, standing in faith, and receive the deliverance that you already received. Mm -hmm. And fight and, with from the and, and, and seek position. more deliverance. Seek, yes. seek more, se yeah. but seek more of God's face. Yeah, God's mm -hmm. God's face. Yeah. Is it po uh, is there a possible correlation? My daughter is only ten years old and very healthy. Beside her sinuses, please explain. Greatly appreciate your guidance. Is, um, there, um, is there a possible correlation? I have not heard that before. Uh, I think it was spirit of rejection and sinuses. Mm -hmm. And so, but pray, pray for it. Pr pray against it. If the Lord has given you that insight, pray against it. And, um, but also I would encourage you to seek uh, the help of the doctors. When are you coming to Miami? No plans yet. How do you fight rebellion at home with the older son, 17 year old, with no man in the house, to be an example without getting pulled into fights? Man, it's, it's, it's tough. It's tough not to have a fatherly figure in the house. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, but I think praying for your son daily and showing him more grace than he deserves setting up boundaries yeah setting up boundaries um, and also i think just uh, believing in your son and speaking positive into him yeah and, and understanding mm -hmm. that your your son is not five years old already 17 yeah. he's a teenager so mm -hmm. he wants to kind of be control. trusted to don't, make his own yeah, decisions don't and control yeah trying to control or like mother him or like, you know, you're, he's still a little kid. Mm -hmm. uh, but most important thing I really, I really see is to just start giving it to the Lord. Yeah. Start giving yeah. it to the Lord. Yeah. And so, um, and to God, to God be the glory for that. Um, a new testimony came in. Amanda mentioned that I asked for prayer for my 20-year-old son who is positive of COVID and asked for prayer for obesity and gastritis after feeling my throat hurt with the cough, my pain in my throat and cough went away. Awesome. Come on, somebody. To God Praise be the glory. God. How do you guys, um, can you fast remove any poison from COVID vax that I took? Can a fast remove poison from the COVID vax, I'm assuming vaccine? Yeah. Um, I don't think so. Don't Your wife is so. also Ukrainian and Russian. No, my wife is Russian. I am Ukrainian. How do you guys invest your money? I encourage you to invest in what you understand or in what you guys, what you know. How do we do it? I mean, it's a more of a private matter, but we, we do some uh, real estate. Um, but honestly, we invested back into the kingdom of God. Uh, mm. Very little, um, very little real estate. We did something before with the cars, but um, that that uh, stopped working now. And so we just put it back into the kingdom of God so that um, 
we can get it back when we go to heaven come on and so um <laughs> how many times a week in? should you be fasting at least one time is good disciples were doing twice a week pharisees were doing twice a week but they were doing from sun up to sun uh, sun uh, sunrise to sundown mm -hmm. how do you overcome uh, an addiction uh, get delivered uh, and then practice discipline any discouragement for new pastors jumping out in faith um, honestly make sure that you do it together with your wife and you have a good covering and um, and develop your team develop your team develop your team how do you balance ministry and marriage I have a whole live stream with Lana yeah, about that yeah. are you coming to Maryland mm -hmm. no plans yet are you coming to California Los Angeles no plans mm -hmm. yet um, why do someone has why do someone has to stay and take meds for an illness how would they know God healed them if they it's the meds helping I'm not sure a little I'm bit confusing not sure, question. I'm not sure, not sure what that means. It's okay, yeah. But um, guys, that's it for okay. today. Thank you so much. We have really enjoyed um, being with you today. Um, we have uh, we have enjoyed together with Lana. Um, thank you for uh, letting us uh, hang out with you. Yeah. Thank you guys for um, your donating. Thank you for trusting us again um, to speak into your life. We really appreciate you. And uh, Christina um, and Luri welcome to a giant killer level on youtube we appreciate you guys we've opened a membership on uh, youtube and i'm gonna play that video as we exit out until next time keep please keep me in prayer as um uh, as i'm gonna travel to denver tomorrow and then come back um come back very very soon so let's just watch a little video about membership and that's gonna be my way of saying good night or maybe not. I'm not sure where the video is at. Really? <laughs> Let's find this right now. Not yet. <laughs> Come on, somebody. It's somewhere here. Um, other content. Wow. No. Well, that's a little embarrassing. It's okay. It's yeah. no big deal. Well, you guys are. <laughs> so that's what happened, Everett. That's what happened when you left. You you <laughs> left me alone. So Everett it's is. It's fine. Just turn uh, uh, My my. Uh, my friend uh, Braden Benton gave again. Brother, what happened? <laughs> I see you're uh, you're giving more and more. Come on, somebody. So in just one second, hey, we're gonna. Uh, okay, so we're we're gonna see. Uh, so we're still on the live stream, by the way, and stuff. So. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're still on the live stream, Jacko. Jacko, Jacko come, come over here. Come here, Bovik. Come say hi to live stream. Come. Oh, he hit his paw. Oh really? Come here, yeah. Good boy. Mwah. Say you hi. <laughs> wow. Okay, go. <laughs> you guys, so this is Jacko. I'm looking for um for that video. Okay. I can't find it. So, I guess we're going to play that fun music that yeah. we have uh for My you guys. My favorite by the way. You love it. Yes. <laughs>